This video will go through uh, finalizing the home page with the slideshow. This big white space here is dedicated for the slideshow in Enterprise. Now every theme is going to use slideshows a little differently. Um, this particular theme will use the WP Cycle plugin. There's another Genesis slider plugin that's free. You can use that on some of their other themes. But then going outside and uh, with other WordPress uh, themes, some come with a built-in slider or slideshows. Um, they all are really easy to set up. I'm not going to go through every one on the market. I'll just use this one to give you an idea how it works. Uh, there's also plugins for slideshows. So if you use a theme that doesn't have uh, a built-in slider or slideshow, you can uh, go get a plugin. And I like, uh, I think it's called V Slider. Uh, I've used that before, and it just uh, you, you put it in a widget zone and you have a slideshow for your website. WP Cycle is a plugin. Now, for some strange reason, it doesn't show up under settings. Other plugins like Sitemap here does, but uh, WP Cycle doesn't. So we're just going to have to go into the plugin list. And here we are. So we want WP Cycle, we want the settings. It's really a simple, uh, it, in some ways it's almost too simple. Some more features would be nice. The first thing you need to do though is, as you can see, there's a certain size by default with the enterprise theme. And most themes are like this, right? Your design is, is going to have allocated space. You need to change your image dimensions. And for this, it's 600 by 235. And we'll save that right off the bat. Other effects is you can change your transition effects. You can set out how many seconds there is uh, for each slide, how long the actual transition is, and uh, that's pretty much the feature you get. For me, it's enough. I use this on a lot of websites. I like it. It uh, looks good and it works. But we need some images for the slideshow. So we just go here and we click Browse, Upload, and there we have it. That'll be the first, so it's in order, so that will be the first image that displays. And you can indicate where you want a particular slide to, to link to. So if you have a blog post you'd like to link to from a particular slide, you just put in the URL here. I'm going to grab one more image, and just to give you an idea of, uh, we can actually see the transition in effect. So I have a second image now. This is my one complaint about this plugin. If you want to change the order, it would be really nice if I could just drag it up there. But you can't. You have to delete them and re-upload them. Uh, it's not such a big deal when you have two, but if it's say you have you know, 10 images in the uh, slideshow, then you know you got to do it all over again. Anyway, don't forget to save your settings. I forget a lot. I may have forgotten in some of these videos. but. Anyways, let's uh, check it out. Here we are. Now, I didn't put any URLs, but if I had, then these would be linking to a particular page. That's all there is to it. it sure dresses up the site nice. Uh, like I said, in that space, this is by default, it uses WP Cycle. If you don't like that, you just go to your widgets. It's the home top right. All you would have to do is insert via a text widget uh, any other slider or slideshow uh, plugin that or widget that you uh, like and you can use that. Just don't forget to reconfigure the sizing. Uh, it's uh, 600 by 235. And I'll end on a, a final note. I think most business websites should have a slideshow or a slider of some sort. Um, I just think they look really great. They're, they're pretty standard. I mean, you know, you're not really outside of the box there on that for your website, but they, but they look good and they convert well. Um, you know, different 
versions that you can get. You can get ones with buttons on the side here that will take you to different pages. Those are pretty cool. I don't use them very much, but I like those as well, and you can find them in various themes. For more WordPress video tutorials, including full video courses on how to build uh, many types of websites, go to b2web.com.